cameo. What's up, gang? Case here with our Metcon for our in-gym and at-home program for Wednesday, October 21st. 10-minute alternate, alternating EMOM, five gorilla rows, five single arm swings, five reverse lunge, and then five single arm squats. That'll be on one side from minute one, switch over to the other arm for minute two. Let's talk about gorilla rows. Sumo stance, toes slightly out, proud chest, Keep your shoulders square to the ground. As we row, I want you to turn this palm about 45 degrees forward, getting your elbow back as far as you can. When you get to the bottom, get that arm to a, a long reach, but don't let those shoulders roll. So shoulders stay square, but we're reaching long to get that shoulder protraction. And then as we pull at the top, getting that elbow back as far as we can. Don't rush through these, keep these under control. Feel it in the lat when you squeeze at the top. Next, step into a shoulder width stance for five single arm swings. If you're using a kettlebell, try to keep that fist down as opposed to that hammer grip. Think fast hips, fast knees. That's what propels that bell to the top. Finish with the fist right around the chin. Other thing to watch out for, people will get that bell a little too close to the ground on the downswing. Keep your wrist right up here high to your groin. You're trying to keep chest as high as you can um, or arm as high as you can when you get into that swing position, and that's how we throw it with the hips. After swing number five, bring it all the way back down, and then you'll go straight up into a clean to start those reverse lunges. With that kettlebell, fist stays right underneath that jaw, holding it in tight, sitting the bell in that pocket. Be easy on that knee as you tap, stepping back with the same leg for all five reps. Then you'll step into your shoulder width stance, Finish up with five single arm squats. If you have the ability, get the hip crease below the knee, but keep good posture, keep your back flat. Don't let those hips round under in the bottom. Try to finish that work in 30 to 45 seconds. If it's taking you longer than 45, I would suggest dropping weight. No prescribed weight today because the score will be the weight that you finish at. Ideally, you pick a weight out of the gate that you can maintain throughout, but if you come out a little heavy, feel free to drop weight in order to get that work done uh, in a short enough amount of time so that you have 15, 20, 25 seconds of rest between each side. Good luck on, uh, actually, we're gonna keep going. If you're doing the at-home version, you may be using a dumbbell. Mechanics are basically the same on that dumbbell for the gorilla row. We're still turning that fist at a 45. Then when it comes to that swing, you're gonna have to stick with that hammer grip. Otherwise, that bell is likely not going to clear the leg. So hammer grip on your swings, then you'll clean up to that dumbbell front rack position where the back head of the bell sits on the shoulder for those reverse lunge, lunges and then you'll be in the same spot for those five squats. Now we got it. All right, gang, that's it for our Metcon for Wednesday. We'll see you guys back on Friday for some more strength and conditioning work.